Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and we are playing Skyrim. Uh, we're not playing the uh, character I was playing uh, previously, I still, still, still might go back to that character at some point, but I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to um, uh, do a um, character that primarily relied on magic. Uh, not on armor or weapons, uh, just on magic. Uh, similar to a character I did before, you may remember, uh, Creepy Midget Goth Girl. <laughs> That's a character I did before that was more of a magic using character. This is my most magic using character thus far. She doesn't have any armor, no armor, uh, no weapons but a uh, dagger and a bow, um, and um, and uh, magic. <coughs> so um, um, I'm, I'm uh, trying her out uh, to kind of challenge myself, stretch my horizons as it were. Uh, and I've already felt like I've discovered some things that I've, I didn't know before. Um, so uh, she also has a home in Falkreet, like my big burly Nordish jock dude. Um, she's got a, um, a wife. Let's take a look at the wife and the kids. Oh, that's my house, Carl, who's, uh, there's my wife. It's all done. Hello, love. Yes, my love. What do you need? Cash. We have a cozy little profit. Here. This is your share, love. I want cash. And now I want food. Here, this is fresh. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. Nom, 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 nom. Our kids. Fine, love. I think the fresh air does wonders for all of us. And this house, it's just perfect. Goodbye, my love. Kiss, kiss. <coughs> Here's one of my kids. This is um, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Uh, and the other one is Luci Lu Lucia, uh, who I've... Um, uh, uh, I also had in the previous... Um, in my my big dumb north north nord guy uh, video. Anyway, so here's the place. I, I made a few changes. Uh, I did things differently. Yes, my love. What do you need? Nope, I'm good. <coughs> I've got the um, uh, instead of the kitchen here, I've got the library. Uh, I got the alchemy. Mama took me to the market. There were lots of pies and cakes there. Oh, great. She said she'd show me how to bake one. That's awesome. That's uh, Lucia, uh, and I got the Enchanter's Tower here, which probably you better, better see it upstairs. Yep, up here. Oh, and I got this mannequin with the uh, White Run guys, White Run guard or armor. Excuse <coughs> me. Uh, Alchemy's Tower is the same as the. Uh, uh, big dumb North guy, Nord guy. Uh, here's a library which mostly does not have very many books in it. Okay, uh, we will go. I actually have to go shopping and then um, uh, we will do something adventuresome at some point. Oh, here is uh, Falkreath, which is uh, almost perpetually raining. A uh, very gloomy place, but I, I, I like it actually. I mean, I, I, I always used to hate Falkreath, I always used to hate having to do anything, anything to do with Falkreath. Uh, but now I'm I'm uh, I I quite uh, like it. Uh, the people are still pissy, uh, but uh, I don't mind that much. A nice, lovely cemetery. I actually started this character like the day before Halloween, sort of a a a combination challenge and Halloween thing. So, always push the wrong button. Okay, I'm doing the College of Winterhold uh, quests, uh, and it's apparently in the middle of this snowstorm here at Winter, Winterhold. Uh, I got some books uh, that I got to return to uh, the rightful owners. I always do that. Eat. It's a dangerous orb of unknown function. I know. This is what we'll do. We'll go bring it in the middle of a college, in the middle of a town. Yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Sort of like, oh, I found an A-bomb. What do we do? Oh, let's bring it into a highly populated area. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, a big, ugly, ugly orc. Hey, dude. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. 
I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Hope Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? No. If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Okay. Thank you. Ah, I like books. As long as I don't have to read them. Fight well. Oh, damn, give me a whole library here. Okay. Let me figure out what our next step is. Okay, this asshole um, uh, wants me to go talk to the. Uh, apparently, a member of the Sigic Order has uh, arrived here at Winterhold uh, and wants uh, wants to talk to me in in particular. I will kill you now. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he's here. I'm going here. to kill you, and then he will, will be removed. Happen. I'm going to turn your fucking boots into ashtrays. Out of my way, Behotch. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. Not bad. It is good to meet you in person. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. Okay. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. Okay, okay. <coughs> As you may have learned, this object, the eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. And yet we brought it If it right. remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... Something different. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. Okay. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. Oh, Knuckles. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? Well, 
What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here she is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. <laughs> there he is, just watch me. Shouts up and this. You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize Look if at I was oversized hands, way. man. Don't we will think see about, about this. I mean, look, his hands are huge. I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Psychic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're... Uh, this is unlikely to be very interesting, so I will, I will restart when something's... Some death is happening. Has Tolfdia been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, I gotta go talk to the Archmage, um, who's gonna send me to look for the Staff of Magnus. I just got done talking to the Augur of Dunlane. Uh, apparently a disembodied voice. Um, here's the problem. Uh, I've never finished the, um, the first quest from the Greybeards. Because I figured... Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Home girl, whatevs. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have not finished the um, uh, the uh, first uh, quest from the Greybirds, which is to retrieve the Horga Horn of Durgan's Lotion, or actually the Horn of Durgan Windcaller. Um, and um, so I need uh, to, uh, the, for that reason, I don't have my full Fusro doll on. I only have Fusro, just not enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this quest. Uh, I'm gonna off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and get the horn of Jurgen's lotion and do all the stuff related to that uh, and then we'll catch up when I'm actually ready to go get the staff of magnums yeah hey homeboy it's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is tainted a bunch of stupid words really and what might that be I'm sorry what well I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. And how do you know of this? Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. A most impressive attitude. Keep this up, and you'll do quite well for yourself. Yes, I'm gonna get your job. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabel mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? Yeah, yeah, I'll go talk to Mirabel. I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. Uh, is that any better than the circlet I'm wearing? That's um, increased magic by 30 points. Oh yes, that's much better. And very fetching too. Okay, well I gotta go get get my... Uh, what's up dude? Whatevs, weird people. Uh, I'm gonna go get my um, my background stuff done. Uh, if there are any problems, let me know. Yep, it's yep. my job to keep things running smoothly. Yep, yep. Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it. Though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority the on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor the from the giant Emperor. beating on the door? Lots of politics, little magic. 
I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mzulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mzulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. I'm not really sure. Made and used by Magnus himself, if you believe those sorts of things. I believe I've heard it said that it's the only thing that could adequately contain his power. The sort of embellishment wizards of ancient times loved to make. Okie dokies. Hey kitty cat. Very impressive, you're making light. Okay. Well I'll go get my get my side work done and we will be off to the ruins of Mazult. Okay, this bear is dead. I just harvested his his parts. And he's yet he's running. How unusual. He's the undead bear. Alright, well let me see if I can improve on that. It's not really a zombie. That would be not that. We're gonna make corpse. Nope. Okay. Whatever. Something I'm discovering as a uh, pure magic user is it's definitely good to have people who can tank for you. And those people don't necessarily have to be alive. Rise, my dragger, rise. Alright, let's go party. I've never seen anything quite like that. I'm not going to show you all of Ustengrad, but, um... Yep, that's pretty cool. Whoa! My bad. Dragon Baker is falling apart, apparently. Oh, here's another one. Hello, Dragon Beggar. Okay. You tell him. You tell him there, Dragon. And having the on the uh, destruction magic, having the yes. Uh, the thing where it staggers on dual cast is really useful. And now more more recruits for my art my undead army. Good Dragon Beggar, good. Okay. I search him. He is a good Dragon Beggar. What am I looking for here? Something that's not here. Money. Yeah, they don't last long, but what can you say? Unfortunately, there are always new recruits. Rise, Dragon Beggar. Come on, up and down. We got work to do.
Come on, guys. Oh. Come on, Dragger Baker. It's a good boy. He's a good boy. What? We were just there. Okay. Obviously, that's not the way. We just went. Yeah, I think so. No, this is the way we came in. Perhaps I should. Well, what did that tell me? What? Not that way. Tell me not tell me nothing. In there, Dragger Baker. Eh, whatever. Oh, that, there's two of them. Okay. Thought we just. Okay, yeah, this is fun. <coughs> fun for you, Lydia? I certainly hope so. So we go down here somewhere. Or not. What's the plan? Okay, well, I'm a little confused. Yeah, this promises to be fun. There's a nice big whistle lick on the floor. Hey, Dragger Beggars. Anybody home? Get served. The other lovely. There were two, right? Well, one of them was over here. Right? Or not. Or he just disintegrated. Whatever. I only need one. Hey, Dragger Baker, how'd you like to help me out, huh? It, it, it would mean living for a short period of time. There you go. Ooh, Somersault. He's so happy to join my forces, he's somersaulted. I need to get a more powerful restoration spell like, uh, uh, like Oak, Oak Flesh, because, uh, 
I don't use the wards, and uh, so um, uh, and so I'm pretty naked as far as defensive capabilities go. Uh, I discovered a. Um, uh, I was walking across the frozen north wastes. Uh, there was this uh, archer guy who was just like, he was like level 100. I don't know what he was doing there. Um, maybe it's kind of fluke. Um, but uh, anyway, he was kicking my ass. Uh, I didn't have Lydia there or a another um, assistant like Mr. Mr. Dragerbaker. Hey, Mr. Skeletor. Goodbye, Mr. Skeletor. Get some. Let's see. Nope. Counts. Yeah, I'll probably need another. the voice of the Greybeards and pass through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Okay, good. Good deal. Um, as usual with uh, my Skyrim videos, um, uh, my recording hard drive crashed. Uh, it didn't crash, it filled up. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is um, uh, for the next bit I'm going to wait until I'm <clears throat> near the climatic end of the uh, whole thing and um, and uh, we'll start recording then um, now I I, um, I managed to go through as you can see I managed to go through uh, Ustagrad grab the letter saying that Delphine may her name be hated um, uh, has the uh, horn of Jurgen's lotion uh, and uh, so uh, I had to go through a bunch of rigor bowl with her and finally retrieve the horn of Jerkin's lotion and um, now we're here. So I got a few things I got to do and then we will be off to get the staff of Magnus. <laughs> way to resolve to, to find the uh, at least to find out how to find the uh, staff of Magnus. Check this out, this is my skeleton. I reanimated it was a whole self skeleton sitting on, sitting on the bed. And so I reanimated it. He looks kinda of funny walking around. <laughs> okay, I'm in Mazolft. Um, 
I'll uh, start recording when something interesting happens beyond the usual Palmer killing. Okay, I got a feeling that epicness is about to break up in here. Or not. for a key. I was thinking it might be a centurion or something, but it's not. That uh, human flesh uh, is good because it makes a fine poison. You wouldn't think, <laughs> but uh, it's apparently human flesh is poisonous, direly poisonous as it happens. There we go. The key. Okay. Okay, so to wrap up this episode, we're gonna have a dragon attack. The dragon is attacking Paul Kreeth again, or maybe he's just circling Paul Kreeth. to commit. Hey, come up. Now, show me what you got. Uh, you got some girl. magic someplace else. Okay, that's off right now. Uh, and until next time, I'll love you stuff. I just got through traveling all over Skyrim to, to get rid of my loot. And now I gotta go do it again to get rid of this dragon bone. Okay.